You know, it's just a fact that when you are a black woman on YouTube, you are half decent looking or a pretty girl like Courtney Michelle, okay, who has a great platform, I might add, and is a very reasonable human being that allows both sides of the argument to um, get on her platform and speak their piece. You're going to be attacked by the women in the divested community, the ones who are divested from black men, as well as swirlers who believe that every man who is not black is the best choice for them. You're going to be attacked. You're going to be called a mammy. You're going to be called a term that does not even fit what a black woman who loves black men, wants to have black children, loves everything black should be referred to as. I don't know how many times I've had to correct these dummies. I don't know how many times Red Supreme or any other person who talks against divestors and swirlers has had to come on their particular channel and correct these dummies about the terminology and how wrong they are about the definition of the particular word mammy. So, you know, the thing is, when you are a black woman and you love black men, you love black children, you want to have black children, you don't believe in being with any other man who is not your man of your community. Even though you know there are some bad choices in the community, as well as good ones, you know that you're going to find the man you're looking for, okay? You're going to be attacked by these women because these women want you to join their cause. These women want you to be just like them. They want you to have all the bitterness. They want you to have all the hatred. They want you to have all the disgust that they have for black men because misery loves company. And these women are actually miserable. They'll lie and tell you that white men are checking for them, but they're still on these channels talking against black men they can't keep black men out of their mouths and most of them don't even have a white man they'll lie to you and tell you they got a white man that's taking care of them if you had a man that was taking care of you you wouldn't have time to be on the internet talking about black men because if that white man is so much better if he's so much more special than the black man you don't have any reason to have the black man in your mouth anymore but see, the thing is, most of these swirlers and divestors are full of shit. Some of them will go the extra mile. And they'll get out there and be with a white man, maybe date him, maybe have sex with him and stuff like that. And they wind up dead. Some of these divestors, some of these swirlers wind up dead when they're in these relationships with these white men, when they're in marriages with these white men. doesn't matter if you have children with them. They'll still kill you. They'll kill the whole goddamn family. They'll kill themselves. How many times have I talked about that on this channel and my old channel as well? I can't even count. And like I said, I'm not here to change any divester or swirler's mind. They think that I am their enemy. Are there black men that abuse black women? Yes, there are. Are there equally white men and non-black men that abuse black women that are, that are in relations with them? Yes, they are. But the thing is that these little cowards, these little divesting, swirling bitches who are cowards... Okay, they're really truly cowards. They don't discuss the men of non-color that kill them, that abuse them, that treat them like shit. They only discuss the black men, hold their feet to the flames. But they don't discuss white men and non-black men that have murdered their sisters that they so-called care for. And this is another thing that many people like me t talk about and discuss. If you truly love black women, you would talk about every single case when a black woman is getting murdered. doesn't matter what color the man. I've talked about that as well. I've talked about black men who have done wrong to black women. I've talked about white men who have done wrong to them as well. More so often than not now, I've been talking more about the white man abusing and murdering the black woman because that's happening more in the news now more than ever. But these women still decide to turn a blind eye. Courtney Michelle is a beautiful young black woman who was a single mother, but she's still a beautiful woman. That doesn't take anything away from her. And she gets bullshit from these particular divestors and swirlers that I'm speaking of as well. She decided to go on her video and show the true meaning of the mammy word, okay? And even though you do this, even though you correct these bitches every single time they use the word wrong, they're still going to call black women that love black men mammies. It doesn't make any sense to a, you know, a sensible and, you know, person that is intelligent and uses their common sense. But to the like-minded people in their community who are absolutely fucking moronic, 
it makes a lot of sense to call black women who love black men and black children in the black community a mammy. So after getting some, uh, I don't know if you want to call them attacks or just some, uh, you know, very negative feedback from certain females on her channel in the comment section, and she's being called a mammy. She decided to uh, put up this particular definition, which it is the only definition for a mammy that these black women who love their white masters always want to call a black woman that loves her black man. Okay, because we know these swirling women and these divestors will defend the white man to the end, you know, because they're such nice guys. They don't ever fight with them. They don't ever argue with them. They don't ever, you know, put their hands physically on them and kill them. They, they, white men never do that to black women. Yeah, it's just those are stories that are made up, you fucking dumb bitches. But anyway, a mammy is a U.S. historical sto a stereotype depicting black women who work in a white family and nurse the family's children. The fictionalized Mammy character is often visualized as a larger-sized, dark-skinned woman with a motherly personality. The origin of the Mammy figure stereotype is rooted in the history of slavery in the United States. It's actually a word that white males came up with to describe the black females that took care of their children because these white men couldn't be bothered to take care of their own children. And the black woman that is being described, large-sized and dark-skinned, helped the white female take care of her children because she wasn't that great of a mother herself okay black slave women were tasked with domestic and child care work in white american slave holding households the mammy stereotype was inspired by these domestic workers the mammy caricature was used to create a false narrative of black women being happy within slavery or within the role of servitude i don't even know if that's actually true even though it's supposed to be because nowadays, the way that a lot of these black females are acting when it comes to black men, how they turn a blind eye when white men are murdering their sisters that they so-called love, the slave mentality, the shackles of the brain are being shown on display every fucking minute. Though there were women who worked within the domestic roles like maid or caregiver, there is no real evidence that there were women who existed within the mammy stereotype. The mammy stereotype associates black women with domestic roles and has played a role in limiting job opportunities for black women. Well, there are mammies that are playing the role right now, and the mammies are not the ones that love black men and love to have black children and love black things and, you know, be one and love the black community. No. The mammies are the ones that are coddling these white men when they murder their sisters. The, the mammies are the ones that are, you know... Want to bring attention to black men doing wrong towards black women. And I can understand you want to bring attention to that. But they don't bring attention to white men doing wrong. Or non-black men, okay, from any background that's not black, doing wrong to their black sisters. They coddle these men. They make excuses for these white men. But they make no excuses for the black men because they have a bitter hatred towards the black man. A white man could smack you in your fucking mouth for mouthing off to him. He could beat the shit out of you with a toaster oven. He could fucking knock you on the floor, throw you down the flight of fucking stairs, and you'll still do whatever the fuck he says because you are the mammies. You are the mammies. You are the ones that put the white man on the pedestal. You're the ones that say the white man make you feel good about your fucking hair when there are many black men out here that love natural fucking hair, including me. But you're the ones that make sure the white man doesn't get, you know, um, how should I say this? Oh, I know how to say it. He doesn't pay for his fucking crimes against you. He can do whatever the fuck he wants to you. And you know what's funny is that they get away with murdering you. Look what happened to that girl I just talked about the other fucking day. They didn't want to. They didn't want to take him in because he. They didn't want to uh, arrest him because he's a nice guy. A lot of you think these white guys are nice guys, and then when they show that they're not nice guys, and they got a mean streak, and all of a sudden you're saying, oh shit, what the hell have I gotten myself into? And the moment that you want to leave, the moment that you decide to up and leave, and God help you if you have children, the moment that you decide to leave these men, and you want to do better in your life, most, most of you probably go back to black men, some of you will go on and mess with another white man. That white man that you're with, that you want to leave, will fucking murder you. And your children that you have with him. And then take his own life. And how many fucking times have we seen this already? Too many to count.
But they're going to keep on calling black women that love black men, that love black children. You know, they're going to keep on calling them mammies. But the true mammies are the ones that keep getting upset and saying that everybody, you know, they have, they're saying to everybody they have options. The options of the white man that you speak of, he's not looking at you as an option. He's looking at you as an option to sleep with. And like I said, if you marry him, and if you, I should say, if he decides to marry you, because you're not making the decision of a white man marrying you. The white man is making the decision of choosing you and marrying you, okay? The moment that you get out of line, he's going to put his hands on you. He's going to call you the N-word. The moment that you decide to leave, because you are nothing more to him than a possession, and so are the children that you had with him. They are possessions to him. As soon as you decide to leave, he will take your life, take their lives, and ultimately, possibly, take his own life. And if somehow, some way, he decides not to take his life, he won't serve a lot of time for murdering you or your children that you had with him. You know those biracial children that you complain about that grow up to be the biracial children, um, those biracial women? Who you say your black man is so in love with, but you're creating more of? <laughs> Women, you need to get it together and stop living in fucking Disneyland and get to the reality of the real world. You're the true mammies.